The reason that I need to make this door a sliding door is because the washer and dryer is too big. When we installed our washer and dryer, I had to take the door off the hinges. Since I have a door, I'm going to use this existing door and convert it into a sliding barn door. Here I'm just finding the center of the door and at this point I really didn't know what kind of pattern I was going to do. I really just didn't want to do something typical barn door. I wanted to do something a little bit different and kind of more of our style. Now since you will really only see one side of this door, I'm only going to add wood to one side and not do anything to the other side. Plus it will save time and money when I'm building this door. I just started cutting the pieces and putting it together. Nothing planned, just seeing what I think looks good. I decided to do some of the design with a whitewash finish. Nothing too crazy, you know, just a little subtle, minimal color. The wood that I'm using for this design is pine, cedar, and some walnut. I'm cutting the walnut from a scrap piece I had. I want to talk a little bit about our mobile home that we live in. You know, prior to moving from California and wanting to start a little homestead, I think we had these dream scenarios where we would find the perfect land and I would build this dream log cabin. <laughs> and so this mobile home was definitely not what we dreamed we would actually live in. We had never been in a mobile home, and I think, you know, mobile homes get this bad reputation, and so it was definitely something that we weren't really looking forward to moving into one. When we first moved into our mobile home, you know, it needed a lot of work. <laughs> we ripped up the carpets, took out the kitchen cabinets, and redid everything. As we were renovating our mobile home, mobile homes are actually pretty easy to renovate. They definitely don't use the most quality materials, but they're fairly easy to work on, and it was easy to rip everything out and start all over. Since moving to these North Carolina mountains, I mean, we've met so many inspiring, wonderful people living in different structures such as like a yurt, a school bus, an old tobacco barn, and their homes are awesome. I mean, we are born and raised in Southern California, so there's no, you know, you don't see yurts, you don't see P5 
people living in school buses or even mobile homes. I don't, I never knew anybody who lived in a mobile home. Since moving here and trying to live more minimally and, and more simply, we are realizing that you don't need much to live. I think what we're realizing is that you can make anything a home. Buying a single wide mobile home has helped us to live this homesteading lifestyle. It has helped us to live our passions, be creative, and be thankful for what we have. Even though we still have some work to do with the mobile home, I feel pretty happy on the changes that we've made to it and how quickly it turned into from a single wide mobile home to our home sweet home. Mm -hmm.